Well, today is December 7th, 22. Okay. Um, they started following me and driving by my house again. Even though Michelle confessed on Saturday when some on Turquoise Street in Canton, some girl was screaming that the only thing that's going on is they are stealing all the money from the case and people wouldn't help out for it on Saturday. Um, she's like, yeah. She said, so all those tapes before were you guys, yes, it's just you stealing your ass. It's just screaming. They're screaming at each other. Like about a girl fight. It's just screaming a confession out and off and pay this girl off if she didn't tell her. Okay. Um, so I mean, and then Eric admitting November 18, 22 at Walmart 62 inside by the hair salon tape and audio above him and one in the hair salon confessing that all the tapes before were him and it was a setup for everyone to turn on me and him. Ha <sighs> Okay. And then the nurse at Mercy Medical, November 24th, 22, of that it's Eric, the one the police are looking for. I'm making fun of everybody for falling for this, uh, that no one will say anything to me again. And that was him. Um, let's see. And then the lady acknowledging the agent that called her back that bullied her and just saying she was lying when she wasn't. Um, and that those men ran experiments and she's told them that I better on me that they I better not have permanent damage and that no one's actually ever said anything really bad about me before. Told you the one said that agent's daughter, Michelle, um, like I said, retired judge Pete's involved. He's friends with Judge Timothy Ludic, he was helping follow me around. Um but it's Michelle's family doing this. They're embezzling over three hundred thousand dollars from this case. Being in the format program is one of the witness protection programs. You get uh, 60 grand a year to live on. Okay. You get housing, free housing, free living expenses, your income, and a free medical card for life and free 24 home surveillance because somebody tried to kill you. And it was bad enough that they had to put you in a protection program. It's for life, it says right on the internet. I never got a dime. That agent that bullied me into saying that. So one day, December uh, 6, 22, Central Baptist in Canton, they were talking about it in front of people. The agent that called her back is the one that told her and the night before the officer verified it. See where Pam, oh my God, I had an FBI agent in my office. He's right there. He actually pointed at a Star County Sheriff. He looks like Ludic, but he looks at Ludic, he looks like Ludic, but it looks like that guy from the cooking show. If And like Judge Timothy Ludic, if you fill out his face a lot, it's just the black hair, black eyes, dark eyes, the real thick black glasses, it's him. They talked to him, he verified that agent, told on me before and called him back. See that it, agent, do you realize how big of a serial killer he is? David just hit me in the face with a board. Uh, for smart off. He's so mad. I didn't die. And when the attempt to carjacking the night before it didn't work. Um, he'd been trying to get rid of me as a fourth attempt in a few months of my life. Okay. He's so mad. I'm still alive. He gets mad and hits me with a board in the face. And I'm so stupid. I didn't realize that was him. I couldn't figure out who was doing it. And he goes off to the store after his hits me and breaks my teeth. I'd have like three teeth fixed. They're all broke. Three or four. And he, um, I finally got crowns on the top. Um, he, um, he walks in that store. You don't even know anybody. He tells an FBI agent he wants to kill me. Ask him to help. Instead of him body slamming him into the ground. And saying, where the hell is your wife? And she better not be home. He would have came in and um, came to the house and found me all bloody. And got him for attempted and murder. Then trying to hire assassins. But no. He's running an extortion ring. No victim. I can embezzle funds out of this. Get me in a... Uh... Uh... Informant program. And steal hundreds of thousands. Embezzle from the government. And the victim. Let me fix up the house, and the whole time I'm waking up with bruises, hand marks, a great rape drugging me. They kick in my door within three days of him hitting me with the door, a um, board in my face, and they're stalking me. He's sitting there watching me like a serial killer. 
And his daughter's now dating my husband. He's pimping her out. Keep him latched. And he's sitting there watching me like Satan himself, like a serial killer. Photoshopping a shower scene, his ass and I, and erasing people all over I couldn't figure out why. If they, I'm waking up with these giant bruises and hand marks. Why am I not waking up when Dave's feeding me? Because why? Because he... They were date rate drugging me. You're sleepwalking. You don't remember. Tell me say crazy stuff. And I got more than 10 people went to the camp with me and for the shower scene in the other room. You know how weird those churches are. In 2011 and 12, I was going to Blaylock. And a lot, I was getting a lot of people to come back to church. Okay. This lady came up to me and said, do you think you can be a soul catcher? Bring people to God. I said, what's a soul catcher? It's where you bring souls back to God. You think you can walk between light and dark, Karen? It's going to cost you your life. Instead of saying, Karen, good job bringing people back to church. Da, 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 da. I hope they make it this time. And God can help them have a better life. You think you can be a soul catcher, Karen? You think you can walk between light and dark? And bring people back to God? It's going to cost you your life. They were mad I hope people were coming back. See, that's one thing. The police, the investigators, the FBI, they walk between light and dark, literally. And they have to keep their minds and their hearts set that the evil that they deal with and they hunt does not become part of them or influence them or the option that they think they can get away with it because they're the law become the evil they hunt because that's when everybody's in danger the local police anybody that said they were in my house before it's considered entrapment and stalking you go to jail police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life they have to speak to everyone before they start and it has to be listed in the state there's nothing else. Even the cops say that. Every officer I talk to, yeah. It's five years. I talked to someone who used to work in the prosecutor's office. It's up to five years just to say they were in my home and it's not admissible. Then conflict, and then every constitutional right broke, one to ten. And conflict of interest, one to ten and a million dollar fine. So where they run around and they lie and they lie. They can lie to Joe Smoes. But they can't tell another officer. They can't tell an agent they were in my home. Because they would have to arrest them. And then the connection of Dave dating Michelle. And that man stealing over $300,000 from a witness protection program. You cannot attach uh, in any kind of witness protection program money. They're lying to people because they're stealing it. I'm supposed to get free housing free income, free living expenses, free home, police monitoring, and a free medical card. I've got nothing. December 2nd, 22, Wendy's in Alliance, one of the guys that watched me, he said, that's out the one that church tried to have killed. He said, it is. He said, I heard she didn't get a dime out of this. He said, no, she's always out working, trying to make ends meet. He said, it was that, uh, man from the case stealing every day every dime from this case since day one and everyone knew it and nobody said a word and it's just been him stealing every bit of the money from the case he's embezzled over three hundred thousand dollars from this case i never got anything and it's for life it says it right on the internet it's for life and 24 police protection custody if they can't just watch you it's entrapment they have to come running. It's police protected home custody. They have to either come running or call someone to come get help you. They are not just paid perverts. It's illegal for them to be in your home. It's entrapment. Uh-huh. And like my one friend that used to work as a prosecutor, it's at least a five-year sentence. It's not admissible. You have a
have a right to privacy. You have a right to remain quiet. You have a right to an attorney. You have a right to a fair court trial, bail and bond. You have a right not to be mistreated. You have a freedom of speech. And they cannot say if you tell someone, no one can help you. That's part of badgering. They have, you have a right for them not to bully you. Department of Justice 1729 badgering laws. For where he bullied me into a false statement and bullied me to stay quiet so I could steal the money. Made me plead for my life. He's a sick mental bastard. And I can guarantee I'm probably not his only victim. That he's trying to make himself a multi-million dollar off of the people in the witness protection program and his care. That he's just stealing all.